Hey everyone, I'm Catherine. Welcome to the Carmilla channel. Today we're going to be discussing HPI checks. What is a HPI check? Higher Purchase Investigation. This was named after the first ever company to provide this service. Nowadays, there are several companies you can get this information from. However, a lot of very important and valuable information still sits with the DVLA, the Driver and Vehicle Licensing Agency. What does a HPI check do? HPI basically tells you everything you need to know about your car. Well, at least everything that has been updated on the DVLA records. All you need to do to run a HPI is the mileage on the car, sometimes, and the vehicle registration number. The HPI check will look up all that information and then provide it to you. Why would I do a HPI check? Good question. A lot of people seem to miss this when they're buying a car privately. This will give you the information you need to know about the car, for example, if it's ever been in a car accident. The HPI check can also catch out fraudsters, which saves you a lot of hassle in the long run. They might be trying to sell you a car that's been stolen or has been already considered a write-off. The car might also have low mileage, which makes you want to buy the car, but that clock could have been played with, let's call it. They actually have a system where they can turn back the miles on the clock to make it look like it hasn't been used as much as it has. The car might also have fake plates. So getting a HPI check is really important so that it saves the hassle in the long run. There might also be some other big red flags that you wouldn't notice unless, of course, you got that HPI check. Always better to be safe than sorry. So is it my responsibility to do this HPI check? Not always, no. Many finance companies, such as ourselves, Carmula, we're here to support you during the car buying process. We'll run a HPI check for you for free and make sure that you're buying the perfect car that you think you are. In the case where you're buying a car outright or you're buying it privately, it is so important to get an HPI check. It's quite simple and you're saving yourself a lot of hassle. So where can I do a HPI check? There are a lot of websites out there that claim to offer a free HPI check, but in order to get the full report, then they'll ask for your credit card or debit card details. So in the long run, you actually do have to pay. A lot of these free checks do offer you information, but it's limited. Luckily here, Carmula has got your back. So we offer full reports on any cars you need a HPI check on. What sort of information should I be looking for on a HPI check report? If it owes outstanding finance, make sure that gets cleared before you agree to buy. It has been previously written off or it's categorized as category D. Could have damage that's not visible, but could be serious or expensive to repair. Whether it's been stolen, never buy a stolen car reported to the police. Check that the mileage that's showing is legit to what it is on the last MOT report. This could be down to something called mileage clocking, which you don't want. Check that the car has a current MOT. Of course, you'll need a valid MOT before you drive it home or drive it anywhere. Make sure the garage or the seller has done that for you. You also can't tax a vehicle without a valid MOT. You'll also wanna know the number of previous owners. Lots of owners in a very short period of time, red flag. The number of the number plate. And also check for if it's ever changed its color, for example. Just check that everything matches. Also check for vehicle scrappage. If your vehicle has been scrapped, well, you really shouldn't be buying it. We're fed up of confusing car finance, so we're here to beat the jargon for you, which is why we're doing videos just like this one. Thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.